Hey everyone, I'm back, baby, with another wardrobe organizing app to try out in a similar vein to my previous videos where I let Starbook, Cladwell, Pupil, and A Closet star me for a week. If you haven't seen them yet, get on that ASAP. This week, I'm stepping into a new adventure by letting yet another app style me, and that app is called Wearing. White Egret Orchids brought this app to my attention in the comments of my A Closet video. I hadn't heard of Wearing before, but it is another contender for best closet app out there. I've been using it for a couple of months now, but I've only added the clothing pieces in my wardrobe that are nursing friendly because I have a beautiful baby boy now and I'm breastfeeding. I can't wait to show you all the chic and nursing friendly looks that Wearing has in store for me. Before we dive into my week of letting Wearing star me, let me give you a quick overview of how this amazing app works. With Wearing, you can digitize your wardrobe and are able to plan and sort an endless combination of outfits and truly experience the versatility of the clothes you already own. Wearing has five main menus down the bottom of the main screen. Thoughts, my planner, shop, styling, and your wardrobe. Thoughts is Wearing's version of a blog. According to their website, it has blog posts about what's on their mind and what they think should be on ours. Topics like how to dress cute in summer without layering and how to pack light for a festival. Wearing is based in the UK, so their seasons are opposite to mine. I must admit, I haven't really explored this section all that much, but I had a quick scroll through the Dress Cute in Summer post and it was well-written and had helpful illustrations. Welcome to the planner section of the Wearing app, a convenient space that displays the weather forecast and date with room for you to record your daily outfit. To get started, simply press one of the three options to help you plan what you're wearing today. Add existing outfit, shuffle existing outfits, or discover new outfits. First, we have add existing outfit, which is fairly self-explanatory. If you have outfits you've previously created and saved, you can easily add them to the selected day. It's a convenient way to revisit your favorite looks and mix and match them for various occasions. You can also create a new outfit within this menu. This is where your creativity can truly shine. Design an outfit completely from scratch by selecting outfits from your wardrobe, dragging and resizing them to your heart's content. The power is in your hands to create a unique and personalized ensemble. Next, there's the option to use the Wearing AI to shuffle existing outfits. Wearing will suggest an outfit for the day, carefully considering the weather and selecting from your tried and tested combinations. It's just like the WPIC format, but with the added touch of your personal wardrobe selections. In a Tinder-like fashion, you can either swipe yay or nay. Swiping right will add that outfit to the day. Now let's talk about the WPIC, which is what you get if you choose the Discover New Outfits option. This feature is like having your own personal stylist. Wearing curates an outfit they believe perfectly suits your style, taking into account weather, conditions, and your favorite pieces. If you love the outfit, simply tap the heart to assign it to the day or the bookmark to save it to your wardrobe. However, if it's not quite what you're looking for, no worries. Just tap the X to see another W pick. Wearing still fine tuning this feature during its beta testing phase. Within the planner in the top right hand corner, you'll find a calendar icon that allows you to easily browse all the outfits you've logged month by month. In this calendar section, you can also create an event by pressing the green plus icon in the bottom right corner. This allows you to specify details like start and end times, location, category, mood, and any other notes you might want to add. The other little icon at the top allows you to create a packing list. Wearing will give you an itemized list for you to pack and suggest other items you might forget. Now let's talk about the incredible shop tab in the Wearing app. 
a whole new destination where you can shop sustainable and ethical fashion that is built to last. Wearing offers a unique blend of cost-saving options through pre-loved brands, independent designers, and even rental pieces, making it the perfect choice for style-conscious women who want guilt-free shopping. For the pre-loved pieces, Wearing uses the Beta WPIC AI technology to suggest outfit combinations using items from your wardrobe. It's a fantastic way to experiment with different styles and get the most out of your pre-loved finds. Wearing also goes beyond pre-loved clothing. They have a fantastic selection of independent and ethical brands as well. By shopping with Wearing, you can support independent brands that are not mass producing and discover ethical brands committed to sustainable practices. For the ethical brands, you can easily add a piece to your wardrobe directly from the shop section. Style it with pieces you already own to test out different looks. However, when you're ready to purchase, the app will direct you to the brand's website for the final transaction. Their rental partners are another way to save money and reduce your environmental footprint. By renting a garment, you can enjoy a new look without having to commit to buying it. Wearing understands that the fashion industry has a significant environmental impact and they are determined to do their part in reducing it. By shopping with them, you can make a conscious choice to support independent, sustainable and ethical brands. Please note that the prices displayed in the app are in pounds, regardless of your selected currency in the personal information. For example, Australian dollars. This is because most of the websites linked to the app are based in the UK. While some of these websites offer worldwide shipping, it's essential to consider potential delivery fees, which may impact the overall cost. To make your shopping experience more convenient, Wearing allows you to save searches and add pieces to your wish list. Plus, don't miss the daily For You Edit section, personalized to your tastes, offering curated options that match your style preferences. In summary, Wearing's Marketplace is the perfect destination for style conscious women who want to consume more mindfully. Whether you're looking for a beautiful pre-loved piece, supporting independent designers, or renting a trendy outfit, the shop tab on Wearing has got you covered with sustainable and guilt-free choices. Within the styling menu, you have three tabs at the top, Dress Me, Canvas, and Mood Boards. Let's explore Dress Me first. Here your wardrobe awaits, neatly categorized with each clothing type in a slider. You can either slide through your clothes manually or hit the shuffle button for a randomly generated combo. At the bottom, you can create a two, three, or four piece outfit. Want to pair specific clothing pieces together? No problem, just pin them, and the app will shuffle the rest. To fine tune your selection, use the filters at the top. You can show only your favorites, exclude swimwear, activewear, or underwear. Prioritize least worn items, display clothes of specific colors for particular seasons, or even filter by brand. Once you've created the perfect outfit, press the green arrow to save it. You can schedule it for a specific day, add it to your lookbook, or simply save it for later. And if inspiration strikes, you can always edit the outfit further. The canvas tab leads you to a blank canvas where you can curate outfits by adding pieces from your wardrobe. While the organization might be a bit tricky, arranged by when items were added rather than by category, you can use the filter button to display specific types like tops, bottoms, or footwear. As you assemble your ensemble, drag and resize clothing to visualize the look. For fine tuning, tapping on an item enables you to bring it forward or backward, duplicate it or remove it altogether. The final section displays your mood boards. You have the freedom to upload images from your camera roll or share from any website by holding down on the image and clicking share to wearing. I haven't really found a purpose for this feature as yet in my own usage of wearing. This section serves as your wardrobe within wearing, storing all the clothing items you've added, the outfits you've created, and your custom lookbooks. It also functions somewhat like a profile page. Adjacent to your profile picture, you'll discover an additional button for easy access to your shop wish list. To mark your favorite outfits or clothes, simply press the little heart icon in the top right corner. To access your favorites quickly, look for the heart icon at the top. It's as simple as that. 
You can easily search for specific items using the search bar. And for even more personalized browsing, take advantage of the filtering options. You can sort items by categories, most worn or least worn, colors, tags, seasons, brands, or even fabric. By clicking the green plus icon in the bottom right, you can add items or create new outfits, much in the same way you would by going to the canvas tab within the styling menu. Digitize your wardrobe by adding pictures of your own clothes. You can also expand your collection by searching the web or using the database. Wearing simplifies the process by handling background removal and tagging. You can share images directly with Wearing from any website for a professional look. Adding details like price, size, color, and material not only refines your styling, but also enriches your experience with the app's My Stats section. Located at the top, you'll find small green buttons to access your mood boards or review your stats. One of the most valuable sections is My Stats, which offers insightful information about your wardrobe. Additionally, a bar chart displays your wardrobe usage percentage, revealing how effectively you utilize your clothing. This section also presents the number of new items and new outfits you've added, as well as a pie chart illustrating the percentage of outfits you've worn. Under the heading, what's in my wardrobe, you'll find a visually appealing color coordinated pie chart that showcases the quantity of items in each category, including the percentage of new, pre-loved, rental and handmade clothing you own. Further down, another pie chart displays the colors you own the most. I found that my favorite colors are black and white, apparently. <laughs> Lastly, the My Usage heading offers essential data, highlighting your most worn items, least worn items, most popular pairings, and top brands you wear. Keep in mind that these statistics rely on you inputting relevant data into the app, but they can be invaluable in optimizing your personal style. Opting for Create Lookbook empowers you to curate personalized collections of outfits and individual items. You can then name and organize these lookbooks as you see fit. Although I personally haven't utilized this feature, it offers a flexible option for grouping outfits together based on different occasions or themes, such as work appropriate ensembles or seasonal looks. One more thing worth mentioning is the trio of three little dots located in the top right corner on most pages. By tapping on these dots, you can access your settings, where you have the option to specify your country, sizes, and preferences. Wearing works a little differently from the other apps I've let style me in the past, so I've come up with a new system to put it to the test and see which method yields the best outfits. The first option is the W pick, still in its beta stage as I'm making this video. Wearing generate an outfit suggestion for you using AI, taking into account the weather that day. The other option is Dress Me, where I can use filters to fine tune the randomly generated slider outfits. To compare both methods, I'll split my week in two. For the first three days, I'll rely on the Dress Me feature, and then for the final four days, I'll let the W pick take the reins. Of course, I'll only refresh if an outfit seems completely inappropriate, but I'm excited to see the results of both approaches. One thing I've noticed is that the first W pick is often incomplete, so I might need to refresh it just once to get a full outfit. On the other hand, Dress Me occasionally styles two tops or outerwear pieces together. But with a little finessing, I'll make it work. Accessories are not included in the Dress Me feature, but I'll add them myself to complete the looks. After all, accessories can truly elevate an outfit. With a full seven day week ahead of us, we'll get a decent number of outfits to test each method. So without further ado, let's embark on this stylish adventure together with wearing. Let's go into wearing and starting with the dress me feature, plan our first outfit. So I think with the dress me feature, I'm going to go the two, the three, and then the four. Go into two. Okay, so that dress is completely see-through. <laughs> Don't know whether I should reshuffle that or if I should just add the pieces underneath it to make it appropriate. 
I mean, I guess that counts as accessorizing, right? So I will wear those two pieces that it's suggested for me and then I will just add some pieces under the dress so that I'm not completely naked. I didn't have a lot to work with on day one, but I embraced the challenge. While I mostly curated the outfit myself, I'm genuinely pleased with the outcome. Beneath the sheer golden star dress, I went with a white low back crop top and beige corduroy shorts featuring a playful sunrise design on the back. I opted a more is more approach when it came to accessories, incorporating a gold watch, bracelets, return hoop earrings, and gold and white hair accessories. To harmonize with the pink in the sunrise design, I adorned myself with a gold and pink sweater chain necklace. To complete the ensemble, I added a brown fringe bag. The final look left me quite content, despite the somewhat impractical nursing aspect, as accessing it required lifting the entire dress. So let's go for second day, three piece one. Oh, that one has heels. And I just, I really don't wanna wear heels for a day. Like mum life, not practical. So I'm going to pin those two and then reshuffle the shoes. Okay, that'll work for day two. Today's outfit had a decent foundation, although it leaned a bit on the plain side. To inject some intrigue, I decided to enhance it with a collection of gold accessories, including a gold watch, a chunky gold chain necklace, a gold bracelet, and some small gold hoops. Additionally, I adorned my hair with gold and tortoise shell accessories. As the evening brought a slight chill, I threw on an oversized denim jacket, further elevating the ensemble and making it even more appealing, although I didn't capture that moment on film. All in all, I can't find much to complain about with this look. Now let's go into the four piece outfit. All right, there is a lot of patterns there. <laughs> I think that one might look a little strange, but it's fine. We'll get through it. The third outfit generated at random turned out to be a medley of mismatched patterns. I wasn't very optimistic about rescuing this look with accessories, but I made an effort to infuse some intention by coordinating the pink of my shoes with some pink fringe earrings. Wearing this ensemble wasn't something I was eagerly anticipating, but it turned out to be not all that bad, especially when I left the coat out. <laughs> Surprisingly, the top and the skirt seemed to blend rather harmoniously. Nevertheless, it's safe to say this isn't an outfit I'll be revisiting anytime soon. Leaving the dress me now, let's go to the W pick. Hopefully the AI will do a better job. So for Thursday, discover the outfits. That is actually really cute. That's not gonna be a problem to wear at all. That'll work just fine. On day four, we transitioned to AI generated outfits and the difference was striking. What a refreshing change. This adorable dress ensemble required very little additional styling, simply shining on its own. As the evening temperatures dropped, I reached for the familiar oversized denim jacket, which added a touch of casual charm and kept me comfortable. Again, not filmed, sorry. All right, let's keep going. Friday, discover new outfits. That is really cute too. Another really cute dress outfit. Day five brought yet another charming dress outfit, this time featuring a delightful pop of color with a yellow handbag. This lively addition injected a pleasant dose of visual interest to the classic black and white gingham dress. Since no jewelry was included with this look, I took the liberty of adding my own flair donning gold and rattan triangle earrings. This ensemble exudes a cheerful summery vibe and I'm absolutely here for it. Awesome, all right, let's go Saturday, discover new outfits. Okay, wouldn't have thought to pair those two pieces together, but that'll be okay. This particular look was one that I might not have instinctively paired myself, but I found myself quite taken with the combination of the green crop button-up and the green floral midi skirt. 
While no accessories were suggested, I took the liberty of adding some wooden hoop earrings and my subtly stylish cream polka dot headscarf. These additions transformed the outfit into another delightful and chic ensemble for the week. If I had a minor complaint, it would be that given the choice, I might not have opted for these ankle boots, but they didn't detract significantly from the overall appeal. Last day, discover new outfits. All right, I feel like I've just about worn that combo before, except for maybe the pop of yellow. And now we've arrived at the final day, presenting yet another charming dress ensemble that bears a striking resemblance to something I believe I've worn in the past. However, this time there's a delightful twist, the addition of a vibrant yellow handbag, which is a departure from my usual choices, but adds a lively pop of color. To complete the look, I included my trusty wooden hoop earrings, providing the finishing touch to an outfit that was missing a touch of jewelry. No surprises here, but it's clear to me that the WPIC AI generated outfits surpass the Dress Me randomly generated slider outfits. What sets the WPIC apart is its thoughtful inclusion of accessories and jewelry, which can significantly elevate an outfit. When compared to other styling apps, wearing takes the lead for me. It possesses an uncanny ability to expertly match pieces and encourages you to step outside your typical choices, embracing unique and visionary looks rather than playing it safe with neutrals. I'm absolutely sold on wearing and wholeheartedly recommend it to anyone in search of a top-notch wardrobe organizing app. Here are a few suggestions for potential improvements if I could directly communicate with the developers. One, category selection in wardrobe. In the My Wardrobe section, when I select a category, e.g. shoes at the top, and then navigate to another category, it would be more user-friendly if it automatically displayed only one category at a time. This would eliminate the need to deselect the first category manually when moving to a new one. Number two, calendar functionality. Within the calendar, it would be helpful to have the option to add single clothing pieces to a day without having to create an entire outfit each time. Additionally, providing the ability to create a new outfit directly from the first page, especially since new outfits are added more frequently than existing ones, would be a time-saving feature. Three, WPIC suggested outfits. When choosing a clothing item from the wardrobe for styling, it would enhance the experience to see a broader range of suggested outfits generated by WPIC. Currently, there are only three options and sometimes none are available. A more extensive selection of styling suggestions could inspire users with diverse outfit ideas. Four, enhanced star stats. The star statistics feature could be improved to provide more comprehensive and useful insights. For example, adding options like never logged on the calendar for both clothing items and outfits would assist in tracking usage. Additionally, including metrics such as never used in an outfit and identifying best value and worst value clothing pieces would offer valuable information for making informed wardrobe choices. These improvements would contribute to an even more user-friendly and feature-rich experience within the wearing app. Despite some areas for improvement, wearing boasts several remarkable features. One, efficient AI categorization. The app's AI efficiently categorizes and tags items when you upload them, streamlining the process of adding items to your wardrobe. The ability to let this run in the background while engaging in other activities within the app adds to its efficiency. Two, Seamless item addition, Wearing's feature that enables users to add new items directly when creating outfits without needing to navigate back and forth between different sections of the app is a valuable time-saving feature that enhances the user experience. Three, WPIC AI generated outfits. Wearing's AI generated outfits through the WPIC stand out as some of the best in the realm of wardrobe organizing apps providing users with fresh and innovative styling ideas. Four, integration with mood boards. The app allows you to incorporate photos from your mood boards into outfits you're creating, enabling you to build looks based on your visual inspirations. 
a small version of the photo is added into the left hand corner and you can click it anytime you want to reference it to see it in full screen. Five, easy to use interface. Clear and attractive interface that is easy to navigate. Six, I don't have six, six fingers. <laughs> no initial download fee, no subscription fee, and no in-app purchases. Can't beat a free app. These standout features contribute to the efficiency and creativity of the wearing app, making it a valuable tool for organizing and styling one's wardrobe. In conclusion, my week with wearing has been a stylish journey filled with ups and downs, but one thing's for sure, this app offers a range of features that make wardrobe organization and outfit creation a breeze. While there's room for improvement in certain areas, Wearing has certainly won me over with its innovative styling ideas and user-friendly features. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in wardrobe organization apps, don't forget to check out my previous videos where I tested apps like Starbook and A Closet. They offer their own unique experiences and you might just find the perfect fit for your wardrobe needs. Thank you for joining me on this fashion journey with Wearing and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting fashion and lifestyle content. Your support means the world to me. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.